A few years ago, there was a man that emailed me, and he said, I'm ready to end it all. I've been watching television, watching the news, and daily I'm getting more and more upset. He said, I can't live in a world that is like this anymore. Now, I happen to know this gentleman, and I happen to have his phone number. Now, when I talk with somebody, especially when they're talking nonsense, I'm, I'm tough. And I called him and I said, what are you doing? Why are you allowing the news to affect you so much? And the news was bad. But it really depends on our connection with God, how our life is. I remember years ago hearing something that Robert Schuller said that helped me a great deal. There was this businessman, and he was having a downturn in business, and everything was falling in on him. The business was going bad, and I guess because of that, his marriage was going bad. And he said pretty much the same thing to Robert Schuller. I'm ready to end it all. Robert Schuller said, uh, uh, gripping him, said, man, get a hold of yourself. He said, are you breathing right now? And the man said, well, of course I'm breathing. He, he, Robert Schuller said, well, how is the air? Well, the air is fine. I'm breathing, but, 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 but here's my problem. And Robert Schuller kept bringing him back to this present moment and that in this present moment, everything around him was okay. And eventually, the man turned around. See, my friend, we live from center to circumference. We cannot allow uh, life to be a life that the events affect us so much inside of ourselves that we lose who we are. We have to have our connection with God. In Romans 12, verse 2, it says, Don't become so well-adjusted to your culture, that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. Now, sometimes it seems as though life is working around the clock in an attempt to rearrange your and your fi family's priorities in ways that aren't for your best interest. Peer pressure often teaches us that physical appearance is all important, that material possession should be acquired at almost any cost, and if we lose those material possessions, then we have lost our life. The world often operates almost independently of God's laws. But guess what? Those messages aren't true. What really matters this moment is your connection between you and God. If what is on your TV screen is controlling you, you need to control it by turning off the TV. You need to focus again on what is important. You need to take charge of what you view inside of your mind and inside of your home. Today, forget the effects outside of you. Begin to latch on and take control of the causation nature inside of you. The causation of peace, the causation of well-being, the causation of God giving you life, giving you being. You owe it to your Creator to do this, and you owe it to yourself. And when you do, you'll find that you recapture what is important in your life. You'll recapture that that is 
very, very special, and that that makes your day, makes your week, and can make your life.